everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Bob's Live, our weekly show right here on the internet. And well, this episode that you're watching right now isn't quite live because we had a massive computer crash right in the middle of the live stream. And then, yeah, I might have forgot to unmute the mic a couple times. And yeah, it was, it was just a train wreck. So for the archived version, I am just re-recording this completely. So it's not completely live, but it'll be more cohesive for you watching the archived version. And I guess I'm kind of starting a trim because last week's episode also wasn't live because I was on the road doing a presentation for a garden club. So they actually got Bob's Live live. And well, after the garden club meeting last week, I headed up to our Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania location to work on a wiring project up there as I get ready to switch them over to our new phone system. And well, last week was a very busy week, but while I was up there, I thought it would be interesting to kind of give you a behind the scenes look at our Pittsburgh location because it's somewhere that I don't travel that often. In fact, the last time I was up there was about five years ago. Um, but it's something that the average retail customer and probably you guys watching um, don't see that often. So let's take a look at a little bit of the behind the scenes at our Pittsburgh location. This week here at Bob's Market, I'm on the road. And this is a part of Bob's that you've never seen here on Bob's Live. This is our Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania warehouse. So as you can see behind me, we get in shipments of plants from our greenhouses in Mason, West Virginia, and then they get distributed out from here to wholesale customers. So let's take a look around. Uh, as I said, here at the warehouse, we get shipments in on carts, and then customers bring in their semis or trucks or whatever they have and they load up plants to take to their own businesses. So just a few days ago, these mums were out in the field at our greenhouses in Mason. And now they're sitting here waiting to be sold. And out here, kind of behind the warehouse, we have an area that's sort of outdoors. Um, it's kind of a little fenced in porch area. And right now we have pansies here. But normally in the springtime, um, we would have shrubbery and, and that type of stuff out here. So another thing that we do is we also do deliveries here in the area. So uh, these carts are actually already sold and they're going out the door first thing in the morning. So that's a quick behind the scenes look at our Pittsburgh location. So yeah, it's basically just a big warehouse where we get plants in and we ship them out. So this time of year, it's kind of slow. It's kind of on the tail end of the fall season. Uh, but in the springtime, we are shipping truckloads of plants up there pretty much daily. Um, so while I was up there, on the way back, I stopped for lunch and I was checking out Google Maps and I saw a landmark on the map that I just had to stop and make a video about because it's pertinent to fall and it's also pertinent to Bob's Market because a big part of fall here at Bob's is our selection of apples at our produce markets at Belfry and Mason. 
And what I saw was a monument. So let's check that out. Today I'm here in the middle of Ohio, kind of along a busy highway. And in fact, Interstate 77 is right over there. But I'm right on the border of Noble County. And the reason why I'm here is because of someone who settled here. And his name was Nathaniel Chapman. And Nathaniel Chapman, he had a son named John Chapman. Now, when Nathaniel and his second wife and their kids settled here, John was already an adult, but he did stop by here and visit quite often. And of course, we all know him better as Johnny Appleseed. So right here <laughs> along the road, kind of in the middle of nowhere, there is a memorial for Johnny Appleseed. And in fact, right here where I'm standing was his father's homestead. And right up the hill here is a cemetery where one of his half-brothers is buried along with his family. The memorial, it says, in memory of John Chapman, famous Johnny Appleseed, born in Leominster, Massachusetts, September 26, 1774, died in Fort Wayne, Indiana, March 18th, 1845. Without a hope of recompense, without a thought of pride, John Chapman planted apple trees and preached and lived and died. And the cool thing about this monument is all of the rocks in it has all these different rocks. They were donated by families that Johnny Appleseed helped. When you think of Johnny Appleseed, you probably think of the kids' stories and him kind of planting apple trees all over the place. But really, he was a businessman. In order to stake a claim to land out on the frontier, you needed to basically create a farm and show that you were farming. And one of the easy ways to do that was to plant a tree orchard. So he started nurseries in multiple areas where he would grow hundreds of apple tree saplings and then he would sell them for a few cents a piece to settlers moving west. And also he would travel by foot over huge areas. Each year he would travel north into Pennsylvania and New York to cider presses to collect apple seeds. And also along the way, he would preach. So if you're ever traveling on Interstate 77, make sure you take the Maxburg exit and stop by here and check out the memorial. So that is a little bit about John Chapman or Johnny Appleseed. So yeah, it's kind of cool that he has a connection to this area. So if you live in the Belpre area, just, you know, 30 minutes north is the homestead where his father lived. Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. And um, of course, you can head over to our website at bobsmarket.com. And if you click on the, uh, the button for Bob's Live up at the top, you can find the show notes for this episode where I have a more in-depth article about Johnny Appleseed. And then also a couple other articles about apples. So one of them deals with the history of the Golden Delicious apple, which can trace its origin back to West Virginia. And then the other one is just kind of a broad history of apples because they've been cultivated for thousands of years. And of course, you can find us online here on Facebook, YouTube, also Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And well, 
Until next time, keep growing.